morning. How is everyone? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Let's see. Okie dokie. So you've got a mat today and um, I just grabbed a bathrobe um, belt to you. So you might something like that just to help us stretch. I got to find my music again. All right. So You're gonna start on your mat. Sorry, I forgot to take my shoes off. Lay down on your back. The soles of your feet are together and let your knees gently fall apart. This is called Supta Baddha Konasana. Your hands could be with your thumbs together, fingers together, right? A palm on your belly around that belly button and you just want to breathe here. Lengthening through your spine, letting your knees gently fall open here. As you're breathing, bringing your mind to focus on your yoga practice. So starting to let everything else fade away and bring your full attention to your body and your mat. are off the floor. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, scoop, lift your body up. So your shoulders and head are off the floor. Fingers are reaching forward. Just breathe. Pull those abs in tight. Now from here, lift your feet up. Flex your feet. Your knees are stacked over your hips and try to have your heels in line with your knees. Try to keep your head and shoulders up and breathe. Now extend those legs up to the ceiling. Keep holding. If you need to, you can put a hand behind your head. Breathe here. Slowly lower your head. Take your hands back behind your head. Your elbows are wide. Your abs are pulled in tight. So your right leg is going to reach out. Tap the floor, out, come up, left leg, so it's slow, reach out, tap, out, right leg, reach, tap, out, left leg, reach, tap. Now, maybe you can hold your head and shoulders up, you don't have to. Good, keep going. 
again. Reach, tap, out, up, and breathe. Belly pulls it tight. One score each leg. Good. Last time. Hold your legs up. Head comes back down the floor. Heels stacked over your hips. Abs and tight. Lift your hips. Up, down. Up, down. Breathe here. Keep working a few more. Two more here. And one. Bend your knees. Prep on your thighs. Roll yourself up. Oh, right, here comes my assistant. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, crossing those legs, rotate those shoulders open. So make sure you're not rounding out your back, rolling back. You want to sit up on those sit bones, open that chest, and breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Lift and lengthen the back of that neck. Turn, look to the right, release, and roll that head down. Coming up on that left side, do that again. Come down from the back. Up on the right, again. One last time. And coming back, it's going to take your right ear with the right shoulder, press your left hand floor, rotate that shoulder open and breathe. The center and switch left ear, the left shoulder, press that right hand the floor, rotate that right shoulder open. And center. Beautiful. Take an inhale. Bring your arms up. Lift your heart up. Exhale. Hands come through. Exhale. Do that again. Take an inhale. Lift the arms up. Heart rises. Exhale. Hands through. Heart center. Pull that belly in. You're going to do it one more time. Inhale. Lift up. Hold those arms up. Press your shoulder blades down. Circle those wrists around. And then circle that other direction. Beautiful. Reach that right arm up. Stretch out that side. And left. Left hand to the floor. Shoulders down. Right arm up and over. And switch sides up and over. And again, keep both sits bones on the floor. Reach up and over. And again. One more, we're going to hold this one so your shoulders are down. Rotate up on the right side of that rib cage. Drop those shoulders. Gaze goes under that arm, back to the seat. Keep reaching. And then down towards that hand on the floor. Inhale, lift up, sit up taller. Exhale, twist towards the wall. Hand comes on the outside of that left knee. Pull those abs in and twist. So maybe you're looking at that wall. Maybe you can start to look behind you. From the front and switch. Shoulders down, reach up and over. Gaze goes under that arm. Down towards that hand on the floor. Inhale, lift up, sit up taller. Exhale, twist towards the side. Hand comes on the outside of that right knee. Pull those abs in. So gentle twist here. Maybe you're looking at the wall. Maybe you can look behind you. And come back to center. All right, coming on to your hands and knees. I've got to move my head.
All right, so in a tabletop position, your fingers are spread out wide, shoulders over your wrists, knees underneath your hips. Take an inhale, lift your head and tap it up. Curl your toes up. Good. Exhale, round out. Point those toes. Let your head hang. Look back at your legs. Again, inhale, curl those toes under, look forward, press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Exhale, round out, point those toes, lift that spine up. And one more time, inhale, curl the toes under. Open across your chest, press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Exhale, round out, point those toes, lift that spine up. And come back to center from here down dog curl your toes under lift your tailbone way up high tuck your chin in look back between your legs lengthen your spine press your heels towards the floor maybe you'd like to pedal your feet bending one knee and then the other Press both heels towards the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Walking your hands in to meet your feet. Toe heel your feet wide on the mat. So your little toes on the very edge of the mat. Feet are wider than your hips. Let your body hang. Make sure you're not shifting your weight way back into your heels, but pull that weight forward. Head will hang. Give your neck and head a little shake. Maybe you like to grab your elbow with the opposite hand correct. And maybe it feels good to sway side to side. Sorry, guys. Release your hands back down the floor. Toe heel your feet together. Weights in the ball of your foot. Inhale, slide up halfway. Pull your heart forward. Lengthen in the back of your neck. Exhale, slide right back down. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse swan dive. Arms out and right. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Stand up nice and tall. So come to the top of your mat, please. Hands at heart center, shoulders open. We'll do a few sun salutations. Take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, heart forward. Come all the way over. Let your head bend. Step your left foot back. Right knee is over that right heel. Inhale, come up into a lunge. So stack that right knee over that heel. Join the ball of that left foot and push that heel back. Hands over your shoulders, shoulders over your hips, breathe in. Good. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Take your left or right foot back to make your left. Sorry. So you're in a high plank position. Squeeze your glutes. From here, drop your knees down to the floor. Elbows rotate to the back. You're going to lower down knees to the chest. So your abs are in tight. Hover here. Lay all the way down. Point your toes. You're in the tops of those feet. Rotate your shoulders open, baby cobra. Inhale, pull your heart forward. So you're using your back to lift you, not your hands. Exhale, come back down. Curl your toes under. Press back up to that high plank. Exhale the down dog, tailbone up high and breathe. In. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind. Look between your hands, swing that right leg through. If you need to, right hand to grab that calf to get that leg out in front. Right knee over that right heel. Inhale, come up into that left. Press your shoulder blades down, breathe. In. Good. Stack that front knee over that front heel. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Bring your left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold, let that upper body hold. 
press your feet into the floor, reverse swan dive, arms out and around. Exhale, hands from the heart center, stand. Good, do that again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, heart forward, come all the way over. Step your right foot back. Left knee over that left heel, get a little bit lower, inhale, come up. Press your shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift your foot. Exhale, both hands on the floor, left foot back to keep the right. You're in that high plank, squeeze your glutes. Drop down on your knees, your hips come up, elbows point to the back. Lower down knees, chin and chest. Lay all the way down. Point your toes, baby cobra. Rotate your shoulders open, inhale, lift. Exhale, come back down, curl those toes under. Press back up to that high plank. Exhale to down dog, breathe. Inhale, lift that left leg up behind. Look between your hands, swing that left leg through. Hold foot on the floor. Inhale, come up into that lunge. Double and heavy, press your shoulder blades down. Make sure that left knee stacked over that left heel or behind. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Bring your right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse one leg. Arms out and around. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open toss in a chair pose. So just bend your knees, sink into your heels. If your arms are up, your biceps are by your ears, so your hands are reaching forward, or you could have your hands at heart center. Now check. Your knees are behind your toes, your abs are in tight, open that chest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, twist to the right. So left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Press your palms together to help you twist. Come back to center, lift your hips up, forward fold, hands to the floor, step your feet back to that high plank position. So, you can lower down knees to chest like we all have a good, or chaturanga, elbows point to the back, lower down, abs and chest. Inhale up, down, point your toes, push back forward, exhale down, down, lift the hips up and breathe here. Bending your knees, your heels come up, look into your hands, step your feet between your hands, and fold, fold. Press your feet into the floor, reverse swan dive, arms out and around. Exhale, hands to her center, stand nice and tall. Beautiful, do that one more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, ukatas in a chair pose. Just sit down, push your hips back. Again, if your arms are up there by your ears or your hands give be a head center, opening that chest, get those knees back behind your toes and breathe. Bring your hands to heart center, open that chest, inhale through the nose. Exhale, twist to the left. So right elbow on the outside of that left knee, press your palms together to help you twist and look to the side. Inhale, come to center, lift your hips up, forward fold, hands to the floor, step your feet back to that high plank position. Stack your shoulders over your wrist, elbows punch the back, lower down knees, chin and chest, or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, or baby cobra. Exhale to down dog, lift the hips up, knees. Push your body back, forward. Oh, 
Landing your knees, your heels come up, look between your hands, step, step, or pop your feet between your hands, forward fold. Pulling your heart forward, stretching a little deeper here. Reverse wand dive, arms down and around. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall, beautiful. Inhale here. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, come all the way. Step your left foot back to find warrior two. So your right toes are front, your left foot's turned out, windmill those arms up and around. So you are side view. So, shoulders are stacked over your hips, lift up on the right side of your body, then we'll pass those fingers to the front. Abs are in tight. Keep pressing that right knee open. Inhale, straighten that right leg, your arms come up. Exhale, sink your left heel, press those shoulder blades down. Inhale, straighten your right leg, your arms come up. Exhale, sink your left heel, pull those abs in, press that right knee open. Extended side angle, right forearm on the thigh, take your left arm, reach up and over for that front. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Turn, look towards the back of the room. And then reverse warrior, go up and over to the back of the room. Left hand in the small of the back, your palm faces away. Right arm reaches up and over. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. One more time, extend inside angle, come up and over to the front. Get a little lower here. Reverse warrior, up and over to the back. Keep pressing that right heel. And come up, turn your toes to face that wall. Cross over you to inhale here, hinge from your hips. Don't push your bottoms back. Hands come to the floor underneath your heart. Now, maybe this is where you need to use one of your blocks, which could be a can of coffee or a box of tissues, whoops even. Lengthen your spine so that you're not rounded out. Take an inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, fold in half. Let your upper body come down. Look back between your legs. Maybe your hands can grab at your ankles, gently pulling your heart to a little deeper stretch through those hamstrings. Walk your hands out underneath your heart, pull your abs in, reverse on the arms come out and around. Exhale, pull your two to the front, turn your right toes front, sink into that heel. Press that knee open, get low. Windmill that left arm up and around, both hands on the floor, bring your left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold, deepen that stretch here. Maybe you can take your hands and cup your calves. Gently pull yourself deeper, let that head hang. Release your hands to the floor and reverse swan dive. Arms come out and around. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall. Beautiful, inhale here. Exhale, big step or flat back, hard forward, come all the way over. Step your right foot back. Left toes are front, windmill those arms up and around. So your feet are way wide, shoulders stacked on top of your hips, press that left knee open, reach those arms long, pull those abs in tight. Good. Inhale, straighten your leg, your arms come up. Exhale, sinking that heel, press those shoulder blades down. 
forward. One more time, inhale straight back, front leg. Exhale, sink into that heel. Get a little roll. Left forearm on that thigh, push that thigh away, take that right arm, reach up and over for the front of the room. So, hips are low, rotate over the right side of that rib cage. Press your shoulder blades towards the hips and then you close it off. Three, reverse warrior, up and over to the back of the room. Keep pressing that left knee open. Do that again. Extend the side angle. Come up and over to the front. Reverse up and over to the back. Stay low. And come up. Turn your toes to face the wall. Cross the reader. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward. Hands underneath your heart's abs are in spine as well. Take an inhale, exhale. Maybe you can fold a little deeper. Let your head hang. Hands can grab at those ankles, gently pulling your heart through and through. Hands come out underneath your heart, pull your abs in, reverse swan dive, arms come out and around. Exhale, lower your to the front, left knee up and the to the back heel, reach those arms down. Windmill that right arm up and around, both hands on the floor, bring your right foot up to meet the left, forward fold. So, bend your knees, take your hands underneath your feet, we're going for a deeper hamstring stretch. Chest is on your thighs, let your head hang, start to straighten your legs from here. Bend your knees, take your hands out from underneath your feet, straighten your legs, forward, forward. Press your feet into the floor, reverse long back. Arms come out and around. Exhale, hands to press the legs. All right, inhale here. Exhale, big dive forward. Step your left foot back. Now, your right knee is stacked over that right heel. If you need to, put your hands up on your blocks. Pull your heart forward. Make sure your foot's not in too close with your knee going past your toes, all right? Stack that knee over that heel. So right now, you're stretching out that left hip flexor. Pull your heart forward. Breathe. Now, straighten that leg. Pull your right hip back. You just fold over that leg. Breathe here. Inhale, come forward. So if you need to, forearm can be on that thigh. Stack that right knee over that right heel. Looking forward. Straighten that leg, pull that hip back. One more time, inhale, come forward, pulling that heart forward. Breathe, you're looking. Beautiful. Straighten that right leg, pull that hip back, hold over that right leg.
Bend your right leg. Bring your left foot up to meet the right forward fold. Let that upper body bend. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse swan dive. Arms out and around. Exhale. Hands come to heart center. Stand tall. Beautiful. Do that again. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale. Big dive forward. Flat back. Hard forward. Come all the way up. Step your right foot back. Left knee over that left heel behind. Hands on blocks. Or you could put that left arm on that left side. Pulling your heart forward. Make sure your back's not rounded out. Breathe. Now straighten that front leg. Pull your hip back. Fold over that leg. So you're stretching out that hamstring. Inhale, come forward. Pull your heart forward. Stack that left knee over that left heel. Straighten that front leg, pull that hip back, fold over that leg. One last time, inhale, come forward, look forward, breathe into that right hip flexor. You've got this, keep breathing, enjoy that stretch. Then straighten that front leg, pull that left hip back, hold over that leg. Inhale, bend your left leg, bring your right foot up to meet the left, forward fold. Let that body hang, so again, stretching out those hands. Again, maybe you can tuck those calves, pull yourself forward, let your head move. Raise your hands on the floor, press your chest out. Reverse one leg, arms come out and around. Exhale, hands to the center stairs. So when you do a variation of that, making it maybe a little bit harder, deepening that stretch. Got some blocks to use to share. Hands up, head center, open that chest. Inhale here. Exhale, big deck and flat back, heart forward, come all the way over. Step your left foot back. Now slide your foot further back and you're gonna drop that knee to the foot. Now the deal is you're not up on top of that kneecap. You want to be with that right leg way out in front. Push your hip forward. Breathing. So if you need to, hands could be on a block and on your thigh. Push your left to forward, stretching out that hip flexor. And then we push back, so straighten that right leg, flex your foot, your toes are up. Fold over that leg green. Inhale, come forward, fold your heart forward. Walk that right foot a little further out in front. Push that left hip down, stretching out that hip flexor. Look forward and breathe. Good. Now push back. Flex your right foot, straight my legs. You want your right toes coming up. Hold over that leg. Press your chest out. One last time, inhale, come forward. Walk that right foot a little farther forward. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips, please. Beautiful. 
And then push your hips back, straighten that right leg, pull it over that leg. And then inhale, come up. So everybody grab the blocks. So from that position, we can just move into the splits. Now, you don't want your hands way out in front of your hips. Bring your hands by your hips. And then you're going to just start to slide that front foot up. Point your back toes. Lift that chest up. So your weight's in your block supporting your legs. Yeah? And breathe. Chest is lifted. Now to come out of this, shift your weight to your hands, place your right foot flat on the floor, bring it in. Curl your left toes under to lift that left knee up and then bring that left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold. Let that upper body hang. Kind of give your head a little shake here. Press your feet into the floor, reverse wall and dive arms out and around. Exhale, hands to her center. So did you do it? Did you kind of do the splits? Great news, you've got your other leg to try. Take an inhale here. Exhale, big dive forward. Flat back, heart forward, come all the way over. Let your head hang. Step your right foot back. Remember, you're gonna walk your left foot forward and drop that right knee to the mat. So you don't want your front knee or you don't want to be up on the back knee, sorry. So you're gonna walk that front foot forward to shift your weight forward. And here's where you could use those blocks. Keep pulling your heart forward here. You're stretching out that back leg, your right leg's hip flexor. Look forward. Nice, slow, deep breaths. And then we push your hips back, straighten your left leg. Your toes come up off that mat, fold over that leg, breathe. Kind of again, inhale, come forward. I'm going to come at an angle so you can see. Walk that left foot further forward. Hands on your block. You can put that forearm on your thigh. Push your hip forward. Look forward, breathe. So if this feels crummy on that back knee, you could roll that mat over to give you a little extra cushion, okay? And then push back, flex that foot. Your toes come up, fold over that leg. Inhale, come forward. Pull your heart forward. Look forward, slow your breath down. And then push your hips back, flex that foot so your left toes are pointed up to the ceiling. Fold over that leg, breathe. And come up. All right, so if you're ready, we're just moving to the split. So you keep walking that front foot forward. You want to point your back toes so that those toes aren't pulled under. Let that front foot slide. Try not to have your hands way out in front of you. Pull them by your, right by your hips and just slowly sink it. Chest lifted, breathe. Slow your breath down. Lift your weight into your hands, and then bend that front leg. Put that foot flat on the floor. Curl your back toes under to lift that back knee up, and then bring that back foot up to meet the front. You're in a forward fold. Let your upper body hang. Shift your weight into the ball of your foot. Breathe.
Press your feet into the floor, reverse lawn dive. Arms come out of your arms. Exhale, hands come to the center, stand tall. Lovely. Grab your belt or your strap, whatever you've got. We're gonna do a little bit of balance work. So if you know your balance is bad, put your hand on a wall, okay? So that at least you're getting something out of this. Remember when you balance, you don't want your foot grabbing the floor. You wanna spread that foot out to give you a good base. So your right foot's gonna go inside your strap. Spread that left foot out, open that chest, pull your abs in tight. Now bend that right knee, lift it up, grab up close to that foot. Extend that leg forward, press your shoulder blades down. Good. Take that left hand, reach behind you. Maybe you can start to twist. Slowly come back to the front. Lift a little higher. Bend that knee, place that from the floor. Did you make it? Switch. Yes, remember, if you need to, grab a chair, grab that wall, spread your right foot out, open the chest, press your shoulder blades down, abs and tight. Bend that left knee, lift that knee up. Grab close to that foot, extend that leg, press your shoulder blades down. Abs and tight, take that right arm, reach behind you. Maybe you can start to turn. Slowly come back to the front. Bend that knee, put on the floor. Ooh, ooh, all right, give your legs a little shake. How was that, lovely? Yes. All right. Hands at heart center, top of your mat. Let's go. Inhale here. Exhale, Utkatasana. I think we worked on this last week. Sink into your hips. Bring your hands to heart center. Open your chest. Now, knees are behind your toes. Your abs are in tight. Yes? We're sinking lower. So we're going to go from here right to boat pose. So I'm not going to use my hands, hopefully. Sit down, lift your feet up. If you need to, grab on your thighs, pull your heart forward, pull those abs and breathe. Lengthen your spine, abs are tight. Low boat, don't let your hands or feet touch the floor. Thank you. Good. Lay all the way down. Reach your arms long over top. Legs up and away. You're doing what you can do, okay? Bend your knees. Bring your knees in tight to your chest. Squeeze them. So we rock and roll for back. Grab them to your thighs. Roll up. Roll back. Next one, feet on the floor. Hands on the floor. Shoot your feet back to that tight front. Long to that spine. Push that floor away. Remember, do what you can. Lift your hips up, down dog. Push your body back, lengthen your spine. Bending your knees, your heels come up. Look between your hands. Step your feet between your hands. Forward fold. Weights in the ball of your foot. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse swan dive arms down around you. Know you want to do that one more time. Exhale, Utkatasana. Push your hips back. Knees are behind your toes. Look forward. Pull those abs in. Don't start freaking out. You can do this. From here, sit down lower. Go right to both knees. Lift that heart up. Remember, you can grab those thighs, abs and tight breathe. Lift that heart up. Breathe in. Don't let 
Let your feet touch. Elbow, hold here. Three. Beautiful. Lay all the way down. Inhale, reach your arms long over top. Exhale, bring those knees in tight. Grab under your thighs, rock and roll forward to back. Last time, feet on the floor, hands on the floor, shoot your feet back to that tight line. Squeeze here. Push that floor away, pull your heart forward. Keep holding, you've got this. Drop your knees to the floor. So your big toes together. Knees come wide. Push your hips back. Reach your arms long. Forehead's going to rest on the floor. Have a seat on the floor, grabbing your strap. Flex your feet. Put that right foot inside the strap. Now, you don't want to be grabbing way far away. Grab close to that foot, sit tall. Make sure you're not rounding out your spine so you can use that strap to pull yourself forward. Inhale, lift that leg up. Slide your left hand up, grab close to that foot. Take that right arm up and we're going to twist you. Okay. Someone wants a lot of attention. Slowly come back to the front and lower that foot. So you're going to switch. Left foot inside that strap. Sit to hold. Inhale. Pull your heart forward. Slide that right hand up. And twist. Pull that left shoulder over. Slowly come back to the front, put that foot down, take that strap off. So lay all the way down. Your feet are going to be flat on the floor. You probably want to do a little bit more ab work. Okay. Hands behind your head. Lift your feet up, cross your feet at the ankle. Abs and tight. Bring your knees in and lift your hips. In and lift. In and lift. Good. Keep going. Breathe. Nice and slow and controlled. Good. Four more here. Three. Two. One. Head up, bicycle. Press your legs. Out. Out. Add a little twist, little twist. Twist. Breathe. Good. We're almost done. Keep going. Eight. Switch. Seven. Switch. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and then, all right, place your feet on the floor. So your heels are in line with your sits bones. Your feet are not side by side. Take your arms down by your side. Open your chest. Bridge here. Press your feet to the floor. Lift your hips up. Make sure your knees don't stand up. Slowly come down one vertebra at a time. And rest here. 
One inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Grab that strap. Place your right foot inside the strap and your right leg is straight to the ceiling. Head and shoulder blades on that mat. Take an inhale here. Exhale, pull that leg closer. And then extend your left leg down below. Straight that leg, flex that foot. Keep pulling that right leg closer to your nose. Slide your right hand up right close to that foot, or you could maybe grab that foot, take that leg out to the side. Left hand is holding your left hip down so that your body doesn't roll. You don't want to pop that hip off the floor. Press your left shoulder blade, left hamstring into the mat. Turn, look to the left, breathe. Inhale, bring that leg up, switch hands on the strap, take that leg across your body. Flex your foot, take your right arm out to the side. Maybe you can look at that ceiling, maybe you can learn, turn and look to the right. Slowly bring that leg back to your nose one last time. Bend that leg. Now lift your left foot up so both feet are inside the strap. Place your right foot flat on the floor. Straighten your left leg, flex that foot. Inhale here. Exhale, pull that leg closer. Extend your right leg down below. Straighten that leg, flex your foot. Make sure your kneecap is pointed up to the ceiling. Pull that leg closer. Left hand grabs closer to that foot. Take that leg out to the side. Right hand holds your right hip down. You don't want that hip popping up and your body rolling. So your shoulders and hips are facing the ceiling. Slowly bring that leg up. Take it all the way across your body. Switch hands on the strap. Left arm out to the side, palm is up. Look up at that ceiling or maybe you can turn look to the left. Slowly bring that leg back to your nose one more time. Bending that leg, take that foot out of the strap. So both feet front and floor. Soles of your feet come together just like we started. Seek to Baddha Konasana. Let your knees fall apart. So thumbs together, fingers together, palms face your tummy, and place those hands right around your belly button. Allow yourself to just relax. Slowing that breath down. Begin to final Shavasana. So your feet just come wide. Rotate those legs in and out from your hip socket. Let your feet flop open. Arms come down by your side. Palms are up. Gently rock your head side to side. And then come to center and just breathe here. Allowing your eyes to sink into your eye sockets. Allowing your body to just relax.
letting that calmness, that peacefulness wash over your body. and wrists. Inhale, extend your arms long over top, legs up below, lengthen your spine, and then let that air out. Bending your knees, your feet are flat on the floor, roll onto your right side and use that arm as a pillow. Gently, effortlessly help yourself come all the way up. Facing front in Sukhasana. Sit up nice and tall. Rotate your shoulders open. Crown up your head reaches for the ceiling and bring your hands together at heart center. Ceiling in today's practice. So today's affirmation is from a book called The Illustrated Book of Wisdom, Peace and Serenity. And this is written by James Allen. To live continually in thoughts of ill will, cynicism, suspicion, and envy is to be confined in a self-made prison hole. But to think well of all, to be cheerful with all, to patiently learn to find the good in all, such unselfish thoughts are the very portals of heaven and to dwell day by day in thoughts of peace toward every creature will bring abounding peace to their possessor sitting up nice and tall take an inhale through your nose open mouth exhale One last time, inhale and exhale. And bow forward, honestly. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a great stretch, a great time. Thank you. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye bye. Thank you. Allison, bye. Are you doing some yoga, Katie? Chris, I'm still on live. Oh. <laughs> so.